Look at that number. The average tax refund from the IRS down 8.4%. Okay, that's the first week of this year's filing, early days. I got that. And that compares to last year at the same period. And it's, it's IRS data down 8.4%. Mm. You're getting less back. Joining us now, market watcher Dennis Gartman. Dennis, welcome to the show this Monday morning. You guys will let almost anybody on the show, won't you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's not true. Look, people are getting smaller refunds. 4.6 million people who got a yeah. refund last year get no refund this uh, year. 4 million yeah. people actually pay more April the 15th. I've got to believe that that affects the economy. No stimulus. What do you say? Oh, oh not a question. I wrote about this about a month and a half ago that because of the tax cut, People did not with, withhold the proper amounts from their, from their uh, weekly, weekly and semi-weekly and monthly paychecks, and that after the turn of the year, they were going to be somewhat surprised by the fact that their, their savings account, and too many people think of their tax refund as a savings account, is going to be less than they had hoped for. So the, the hoped-for sales of washing machines, of refrigerators, of that sort of thing, high uh, dur durable goods orders, are probably going to be somewhat impacted. This Really, we shouldn't be surprised by this fact. And I think it was also exemplary of the fact that the economy might not be quite as strong as people had hoped and that the amount of taxes paid were not nearly as high. So this is a little disturbing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it materially so, but it's a little bit disturbing, and I think it's exemplary of what happens after a tax cut goes into effect and you didn't withhold the proper amount. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Now, there's a, this possibility uh, is just raised as a possibility of a Trump-Xi Jinping yeah. meeting maybe next month. Is that giving you something to be optimistic about on the market this morning? Oh, no question. I mean, that, that, that is the overriding fundamental concern is, is a, is a reestablishing of, of, of ill, of Ill uh, trade negotiations between us. I'm a little disturbed about the fact that we sent Mr. Lighthizer over as far as uh, the debate right now with the, that's going on in Beijing. But I hope that at the end of the month, I hope that Xi and, and President uh, Trump do actually have some sort of meeting, maybe by telephone, maybe actually physically. Who knows? But that is certainly a, a benefit because no, nothing will be de decided until the, the principals will sit down at the table or have a telephone conversation. You can send the Sherpas to do all they want, but you have to have the principals to make the decision, and that's important. Look, I editorialized last week that this China-U.S. trade, Trump-Xi Jinping, is the biggest issue of the day, yeah. whether it's diplomacy, it foreign policy, and certainly economics and trade. Mm. Is it the overriding issue which just has to be settled, or we really can't move forward? Oh, I, I couldn't agree more. I, I think it trumps any, even the concerns over the Federal Reserve Bank. This is the... It, it, it is beyond the penultimate. It, this is the ultimate concern for the market to be... To, to deal with, and we need to make sure that the United States and China, now are two, the, the two largest trading partners in the world, resolve these questions. China has made terrible mistakes in the past. They have clearly made, uh, they, they clearly have cheated on a number of issues. They have to stand down from that. So let us hope that some re resolution will occur. But as I said, until the principals agree to, uh, to, to, to sign something off, nothing can happen. But it is absolutely the ultimate trade concern, the ultimate economic concern of the time. No That's question. why I think there will be a deal, because the penalty for failure is just catastrophe. Yes. Not gonna do it. it is not an either, it, it's not in either country's uh, right. best no, interest to not. have this uh, to fail. Not, not No question about that. Dennis, thanks for being with us early on a Monday morning. Always appreciate it. See you soon. Uh,